And this is not a spring chicken. Today we're going to be doing what? <laughs> we're going to be talking about the how that you can party all night long on New Year's Eve into late into New Year's Day. So. And some of you are wondering, it's like, there's some of you that are already planning on doing this, and some of you are thinking, why would you want to do that? Well, this is for the ones that want to stay up. But basically, uh, find it hard to because of all the, they don't drink well, they don't eat well, and they don't party well. And they usually don't get enough sleep. They don't get enough sleep. That's the whole first thing. The first thing, if you know you're going to a New Year's party, you really need to get your sleep before then. You know, it'd be like a, a pad on the extra, the extra hours the night before the party. Yes, yes, sleep extra. I mean, I know because we do a lot of celebrity events, and I've had musicians do this a lot too, right? Mm -hmm. Because I'm, I'm thinking about these parties that start at 2 a.m. Yeah. after the concert, right? So it's like these people did not get up at 8 a.m. and then they're doing all this stuff. They slept well into the afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, and I know a lot of actor friends, it's like what they do is before the party is they take a nap. Yeah. And then they take a shower yeah. before they go out. And then they are ready just before they're ready to go out. Yeah. And, you know, we've got an oxymoron about how... To, there, there, okay. There's a there's a really set way in order to make certain you don't stuff yourself at the party, mm -hmm. which is before the party you go get yourself a, you know, a, a, make a great big bowl of non buttered popcorn. Now wait, wait, wait. Why do you say? Oh, that's right, because it stuffs you. It stuffs you. But there is a problem with that problem. There's it works only if you're not going to drink. Oh. Because if you drink, guess what the popcorn does? It, it bloats you. No, the popcorn holds the alcohol in the system. You can get, okay, for those people, there's two things. If you eat popcorn and you drink, and it's going to it's going to retain the alcohol, so you're going to get drunk. That's how that works. Really fast. That's why. Okay, it's the same thing as, you know why they give you salted pretzels and salted peanuts at why? bars? Because it makes you drink more. Oh. Yeah. And, you know, you so, actually, he, but here, here's part of it. This is kind of like strategy, okay? Because they always tell you don't drink and drive for yeah. parties for New Year's, right? Yeah. So if you've got a driver, there's some people, they go to an all-you-can-drink place, and their their idea is to drink as much as they can to get their money's worth. Yeah, but the trick is you can't drink as much as you can. They know that the average person can only consume so much, so you'll never... If you go to one of these parties, you'll never get back what you you um, you, want, you put into it because, like I said, a lot of people will think, well, if I drink lots of pop, if I eat lots of popcorn, I'll be able to handle it because I won't eat as much. No, but it causes you to it keeps the alcohol in. So if you're gonna eat a lot, if you want to eat, if you don't want to eat a lot, and you use the popcorn method, don't drink. But if you want to eat a lot and you want to drink a lot. Here, 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 I'll give you a really good... Uh, Aha! Uh -huh. Very simple. Butter. You can use buttermilk. Right? Go, um, go use buttermilk, butter, uh, you know, that's what you do. You go just take the stuff, put it on, 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 I'm talking thin pieces of bread, not thick pieces of bread, thin pieces of bread, because guess what the bread will do if it stays in your system? Just like the popcorn. Just like the popcorn. So it has to be little thin pieces of bread, you know, like gourmet stuff. Or you can sit, basically, you can sit there and, and basically roll them out or something. But, or you can eat it straight. Mm -hmm. The best thing to do, I learned, I, my, my, I was, I had lots of people in the, in the military. They just simply would go take a quart of buttermilk and they drink a quart of buttermilk. And you say, God, that stuff tastes bad. Well, no, you can, you can, okay, you can treat the buttermilk. You can flavor it. You can flavor the buttermilk. You can also take, um, you get your little. You know what, eggnog probably works too. Yep. Because eggnog, you can still get it right now. That's right. <clears throat> and if you're going to have, here's a good, if you're going to have a designated driver take you to wherever you're going, go add alcohol to the buttermilk. Then it tastes better. And it has the same result because you're coating your stomach. Um, the, okay, this is a means of keeping the alcohol getting to your cells, is it coats the stomach. Okay. But like you take a little bit, you take a, a brandy, you put it in your buttermilk, you heat the buttermilk up, 
Uh, there's all kinds of things. Here, here, here's a good trick. Say this is a cup full of buttermilk. Put a little bit of brandy in your buttermilk. You take, um, um, take you got you got a hammer stove or a match or something to work it. You take it and put it over a flame. You got your buttermilk with your itty bit little brandy in it, and then you go. You got yourself a really great drink. Really? And it's not, it's basically, it's a, it's just a, a, like a little tiny alcohol that gets the system all revved so you, you know the alcohol's coming. Well, you know what else that you just made me think about is don't mix your alcohol. Now you've heard that one before? Mm -hmm. Drink the same drink the entire night. So this means, you're like, well, what if I want to change drinks? Okay, if you're drinking beer, drink all beers. That's right. Right? And drink the same type of beer. Don't go don't go fishing around because each different each beer, dark beer and there's light beer and there's green beer and there's that each different type of beer will have a different reaction on you. Okay. So that also means if you're drinking vodkas Stick with the same brand of vodka. Don't let you them can't change it. Uh uh. Because uh. each vodka is also different. Yeah, because they're made out of different ingredients. They're made out of different ingredients. So if you're, and if you're choosing wine, stick with the same wine. Is it, is it same brand, or can you go reds and then? No, as whites long as it's just red, whites, or you know, or champagne. You want to stick with. If you drink a champagne, don't drink sparkling wine. He was bringing but sparkling, sparkling wine. wine is champagne. No, it's not champagne. champagne. Champagne is from the region of France. France from France, France. There is a difference, folks. There is a uh -huh. difference between sparkling wine and champagne, other than the name. What? It's got to do with the vineyard that they're made from. The wine, the wine is totally different. The sparkling stuff is put oh. in after the fact, but the wine itself is different. Also, no one's ever told me that. We're going to give you a little tip on food because um, um, if you're eating food, don't eat greasy foods. Oh. Because the greasy food with the alcohol and uh, can have a reaction on the stomach and cause you, to, if you're drinking beer specifically, that beer will cause you to lose your, lose your lunch. Yeah, we're trying to keep you partying all night without losing it in between. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, you know, and if you're eating shrimp, don't change the shrimp you're eating. Eat one type of shrimp oh, and one type what? of shrimp only. Do not change your shrimp types. That's interesting. My brother learned that. Yeah. I mean, I can drink. I can. I love seafood, so I can eat all different types of seafood. But it will make you make you sick. But my brother can only eat like whatever seafood he's eating, whatever shrimp. Can only eat that type. Because I, we discovered that out. We went to um, my family went to a New Year's thing in Las Vegas, and they had. I mean, my, my mother wanted to go because it was God, you know, basically she loved fish and she knew the people that were, you know, where the fish came. My mother would not eat fish unless she knew where it came from, so. Mm -hmm. And she knew that the shrimp was being brought in and they had, you know, like they had a zillion different types of shrimp. So my mother, oh, we're going to that one. So we went there and she had, I mean, she got sick like you would not believe. She didn't drink. She was an Indian. She did not drink at all. And then they, you know, the next day, you know, the, the, a lot of people were sick from the party. And then the shrimp was good, and then, then it came on, you know, uh, did you people eat all of that? And they all, yeah, and they said, well, the rule of thumb is don't mix shrimp. Ah. Because it has a bad, it has an adverse effect on your system. Stay with one type of shrimp, don't, well, this looks good, don't go pick this one, and then pick this one, pick this one. Each one of them is a different type of uh, uh, stick your system. And they're usually from a different region. That's also like with the wine, right? Yeah. That's why you said don't mix sparkling wine with champagne. Right. But you can have different champagnes. We have different champagnes, different type of sparkling wines. Because they're from similar regions. Yeah. But, um, but what well, they're they're the champagnes are similar regions. Sparkling wine. Yeah, it's things. also got to do with the, there's alcohol content difference between champagne and sparkling wine. Sparkling oh. wine probably has a higher alcohol content than the champagne. Interesting. And um, another thing too, um, if you're going to play, well, I don't drink, but I'm going to look like I drink. And you take uh, you, you take your cup with you. If you don't keep that cup filled full of ice. The, the drink is going to get warm on you. Warm alcohol will basically turn you like you would not believe. Oh, really? Yeah. That's why they put alcohol, that's why they put a lot of the stuff in over the rocks, which is to keep the alcohol cool. Oh, and people thought it was to make it water down. Mm, it's to keep it cold because, um, uh, like you, for instance, a guy is saying, you know, well, I want it on the rocks. He's wanting his drink poured over, you know, uh, 
you know, pour it over ice because he has no intentions of actually, he's just walking around with it like that, you know, so that, you know, if you take a strip every now and then, oh, can I have some, can I, can you freshen my drink with some ice? Yeah, so you can walk around all God night long, and they just keep putting ice in the thing for you. Ah. Yeah, and by the time the night's done, you have, you have, so you can walk around for three or four hours with the same drink, and it's, it's so diluted by the time the night done. It's just like drinking water. But it looks like you're drinking, I mean. Um, another thing, if they offer you drinks, you know, if the specialty the house, you're getting a specialty the house is a um, drink with lots of, Nice little piece Fruits. of fruit or vegetables and stuff in it. Take it, because you can. I, I, I she know. I've, I've had like 14 zombies in a row at one place, which basically got. She's busy having a time on the dance floor. I'm drinking, you know, one zombie after another. What's in a zombie? Um, basically, vodka, tomato juice, and lots of, you know, and and and, and lots of, you know, like maybe a celery thing and um, and some. And, uh, you know, sounds like a bloody bear. I know a stupid thing. Um, olives, black mm -hmm. and other olives and things like that. Zombies are like bloody Mary. Zombie and bloody Mary, same difference. But you want them to, if they're going to put anything, uh, if you, for instance, anything, a drink that has um, food in it, don't throw the food away because it helps to, it helps to make your stomach, it helps to settle your stomach. That's why the food, the, the stuff is there. Oh, one of the things I learned is that if you don't drink, you can get drunk off the fruit mm -hmm. food. Because I kind of forget that because I've been with friends, right? So they're drinking and I don't drink. And I forget because I'm like, oh, look, there's an olive. And I go eat the olive and I get drunk. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and she also didn't realize that chocolate liqueur is, it says, the spice says liqueur. A lot of people are giving... They're serving you little... Okay. okay. They're serving you something small like that. It's probably alcohol. Yeah, and the smaller the thing, you've got to figure the, the higher the alcohol content. The higher the alcohol content. They give you, you know, like if they give you a shot, a, like a shot glass or smaller, that, that basically can put an elephant on the floor. And you know, she wanted one of these things to drink. I don't. She it was nice and warm, and she thought it was hot chocolate. She just kept drinking it. So I she was it was telling me it was a lot of fun, but um, no, but. Uh, um, I'm trying to give you my advice because I, I have another one, which is Red Bull is your friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's Red Bull, Monster Energy drinks, or any of those things, because as you start filling it, they have what uh, is it, taurine in it? It's T A U R A N E, which uh, does it does mix well. My friends tell me with vodka. Well, yeah, it mixed with vodka, but the problem is, it's also it's um it's basically it's a double negative. It's got it's caffeine and it's sugar. You don't want to add, you don't want, the caffeine is to keep you going, but the sugar, unfortunately, hyper-energizes the alcohol content. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you're taking something to negate what the alcohol is doing, and generally, there, one doesn't really go well with the other. But it does keep you up all night. It keeps you up all night, but you're also going to have more than likely the next day going to end up with your head over a toilet. Uh, well, because you're mixing, you're mixing sugar with caffeine. There is a, uh, okay, uh, what is it? And for some of you that have a sensitive heart, I know. Here right. is a tablespoon. I don't, okay, so we're gonna try this with a Red Bull. This is an empty container without any like it. Take one tablespoon sugar. Take two tablespoons sugar. Take three tablespoons okay, sugar. Okay, okay. Take four so tablespoons sugar. Here's my trick on Red Bull, is if you're used to Red Bulls, okay, enjoy it. If you're not used to Red Bulls, just have a little bit. Yeah, I wouldn't take any. I wouldn't. He wouldn't take any. Take any I, I take energy. I do. It keeps you up longer. Well, I know, but I'm, I'm going to start rolling after midnight. So there. Well, that problem. see, your system's totally different than well, everybody I, else's. Well, I, 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 at night time, I used to like to go out at night. I don't get to go out at night. Anymore. But if you have one of those, that's not something you take an hour, two hours before you go to sleep. You expect to be up at least another four or five hours plus. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so um, figure the if the party started. <laughs>